everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about a new Webflow feature called Webflow Logic. Let's get right into it. Okay, so Webflow has just launched a beta version of a new product they are calling Webflow Logic, and it could be really awesome, and it could change the game, especially for our purposes on this channel, where we build a lot of no-code automations and things like that inside of Webflow. Okay, so what is Logic? Well, Webflow is looking around at all of its users who love using Webflow, but are having to go elsewhere to different third-party apps and solutions, a lot of which we have covered on this channel, instead of just being able to build all of their logic, all of their workflows inside of Webflow. So Webflow's looking around going, wait, why don't we just provide this service in-house for our users? That way they don't have to go out and pay subscriptions for different third-party platforms and things like that. And they can just build right here inside of Webflow. They never have to leave. So this is gonna be awesome, guys. So Webflow came out with an entire hour-long presentation kind of introducing logic to everybody. I've watched the whole thing, and I've distilled that hour-long video down into three main points that I'm gonna share with you right now. So let's get into it. What do they talk about in this presentation? All right, so the first thing they talked about were the three focus areas that they're really targeting in this beta launch of logic. The first is they want logic to be easy to use. They want it to be easy to learn, kind of fit in with the Webflow UI super easy to pick up and simple and intuitive and easy to use. That's the first thing they're focusing on. The second focus point that they have is they want to integrate logic with all of their other different products, CMS collections, memberships, things like that. They want all of those to speak to each other seamlessly and easily for us, the user. And then thirdly, they're really focusing on making sure that integrating with third-party databases like Airtable and things like that are as easy as possible for us, the user. That way, if we do still have to use third-party systems, like databases or things like that, we can connect to all those tools in-house in Webflow without going through another third-party solution like Zapier or Integromat or something like that. So those are the three focus areas. Okay, so now what are we gonna be able to use Logic to build? Well, obviously in the future as they build out this product and make it more robust and things like that, we might be able to build anything we want. But, you know, the sky's the limit. Who knows what we can build? But for now, they're focusing on three main workflows that can kind of serve as the building blocks for the rest of Logic as they build it out and make it more robust. All right, so the first of these workflows is just collecting leads. So create new CRM leads based on form submissions. Just that simple. The second is connecting with customers. So kind of triggering different actions based on the customer site activity or adding them to different membership plans, things like that, all in Webflow. And then thirdly is managing site content. So using forms and things like that to directly update our CMS collections inside of Webflow, instead of having to send all that to Airtable and then all that to Zapier and then all that back to Webflow. Instead, it will all be managed inside of Webflow in one beautiful package. So it's gonna be awesome. All right, so how are we gonna build out these workflows inside of Webflow? How is it set up? How's Logic going to work? Well, to me, it looks very similar to Zapier in that you start off with a trigger and then that leads to actions. Now, one really cool thing about Logic that they showed is that you can do these conditions. You can have like these if-then statements after your trigger. So for example, if we're capturing leads on our website and someone submits a form because they're interested in our product, but they're in a small company, maybe less than 50 people, well, if they submit that form and they're less than 50 employees in their company, we send them to an entirely different CMS collection than if they had more than 50 employees. So you can set up this if-then functionality, which will be very powerful in the future. And then obviously, once you trigger and then meet certain conditions, then you launch your action. Now, in the Logic Beta, we'll be able to do a couple things. Immediately, we can create, search, update, and delete CMS items inside our CMS collections. We can also make custom HTTP requests, which again, ties to those third-party databases like Airtable, makes it easy to integrate with those if we need. So that's what they're gonna start off with in beta for Logic. But again, as they build out this product, as they make it more robust, the use cases are just gonna explode for us. And that's what I'm really, really excited about. Okay, so one last thing I wanna leave you guys with today, one little nugget that you can take with you on the road today to make your day a little bit better is that Webflow Logic and Webflow memberships will be included in all site plans once they go live. So that's gonna be awesome. So yeah, that's it guys, I'm super excited. I've actually signed up for the beta just a couple minutes ago. So hopefully they let me in and start tinkering around and playing with it a lot more this upcoming week. I will have a lot more videos on this in the future because I think that if they do this right, which I think they will because it's Webflow and they're awesome, I think this is going to just change the game for us. I think it's gonna save us a lot of money. It's gonna open up all the possibilities that we have to build what we need to build. And it's just gonna simplify everything and keep everything in-house in one beautiful Webflow package. So. If you're excited about this, get down in the comments and let me know. I know I am. I'm super pumped to hear what your thoughts are on it. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. That'd be awesome. It's good to have you here. I'm so glad you're part of this community. I'm really, really excited about what we're building here and where we're going. And it's good to have you along 
for the ride. I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.